Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the best tips and tricks to use Copilot on Windows 11. Copilot, as you know, is a new digital assistant experience that replaces Cortana and unleashes new capabilities, including the ability to interact with a chatbot using natural language to get complete answers to virtually any questions and change system settings. However, Copilot is only useful if you know how to leverage all the features since the flyout panel only offers a search box with minimal help. So let's get into this list of the best tips and tricks for Copilot. First, let's talk about removing the button from the taskbar because technically you can just use the Windows C keyboard shortcut to open and close Copilot on Windows 11. And to remove the button, you can open start and let's look for settings. Then on personalization, let's go to the taskbar page and then we're just going to turn off the option right here. Now you can use the Windows C keyboard shortcut to open and close the experience. The next tip is that you can use Copilot by just typing whatever question uh, you want to have answer to, but it's also possible to use voice commands. Okay, so you can just go hands-free and ask, for example, a Copilot, like, when using Google or any other digital assistant. That might be a feature on the future, but not right now. So to ask a question, you only need to click the microphone button and just ask away. And because you're asking with voice, you're gonna get an answer also with voice and text. For example, tell me about Windows 11. Searching for Windows 11 features. Windows 11 is the latest version of the Windows operating system released by Microsoft in October 2021. As you can see, the voice that Microsoft has created for this feature, it's more like you're getting interaction with an actual human, which is really nice. And this is just the uh, beginning. So it's kind of impressive how voice is getting better, better every year. Another tip using Copilot is the ability to change system settings uh, because of the deeper integration with the operating system. So for example, so right now there are no many things that you can do, but you can do simple things. Uh, for example, you can type turn on Bluetooth and then press enter, and then you will get a prompt to execute the action. One thing that you're going to notice with Copilot is that it doesn't take actions for you. It just helps you out. So for example, right here, when we ask to turn on Bluetooth, you then just go and do it for you. It's giving you the option for you to take the action. So in this case, we're going to click yes, and that should turn on, in this case, Bluetooth on the computer. If you ask to change different settings, you might get an option, but to open the settings up, for example, and then it will show you what's the option that you have to turn on. So basically, it's like training you on how to better use the operating system. Another thing that you can do with Copilot is to use it as if it was your start menu. So you can start applications too. So for example, you can ask to launch Microsoft Edge and then click yes. And that will actually open the web browser. You can do it with any application. One of the things that you're going to notice when using Copilot is that it's kind of slow right now. So you need to like get used to that. In the future, it might get better, faster, but this is what we have right now. As I said previously, on Windows 11, Copilot doesn't perform a task automatically. Instead, it uses the available system tools, which are more useful for users who are not familiar with the features available. So for example, another thing that you can do with uh, Copilot is to take a screenshots of anything on the screen. And in this case, to do that, you can ask something like take a screenshot and then press enter. And then as you can see, the assistant brought up the tools to take a screenshot using the snipping tool already available on Windows 11. And from here, you can actually just take your screenshot. Once the screenshot is taken, it will upload it to the uh, clipboard and then you can just open any application. In this case, I open Paint and I pasted it right here. And another thing that you're going to notice when taking a screenshot is that the uh, Copilot will also add an option right here so you can send that image uh, for analysis by the AI and it can tell you more information about 
of that particular image. So if you're online looking at a picture or you're looking at a picture that you took yourself or somebody sent you, you can upload it to Copilot and it will tell you more information about that particular image. So when you're using Copilot, you can change the uh, conversation style with these options to change the tones of the answer. However, you probably didn't know that changing the conversation style also changes the version of the language model that it uses to generate the answer. For instance, if you choose the balance option, the chatbot may use an older version of, of ChatGPT to answer the question. And if you use the uh, precise option, the chatbot may use the most up-to-date version of ChatGPT. This happens automatically and there is no way to confirm the version that you're using at the time, but the uh, precise option is likely to use the most recent version of ChatGPT. You can also use Copilot to create images. So you just need to offer a description of what you want and be more specific. It will make the art even better. So for example, you can type create an image of a cat riding a dragon and then press enter and the system will take this information, will process it, get the keywords and feed it to the image creator language model and then we'll process it and then it will generate about four different variations of the image that you ask and as you can see right here we have different ones so you can click on those and it will open that image online and from here you can share it or you can download it and you can ask to create an image of about anything just remember just remember that the most description that you add to the query the better is going to be the result one of the best tips when using copilot is the ability to summarize website content and this works on microsoft edge and for example you can open a site with the specific content and then you can open Copilot and just ask to summarize the current page and it will understand that you have Microsoft Edge opened and it will read the content and create a summary about that page and here we go now you can read here the summary of the page instead of reading the whole page and this works with any website now here's a trick when using Copilot on Windows 11. Although you can use the button right here to clear the current conversation and start a new topic, if you're having issues with the experience and something is not working right, or you just wanna clear out all the chat, you can open the settings, you can open the menu at the top right and using the refresh button, will actually terminate the application and it will restart it again. And that will not only clear the chat, but it will also refresh the connection, fixing some issues that it might be going on on the uh, previous instance of the application. And there you go. And the last tip or trick, whatever you wanna label, are the steps to disable Copilot on Windows 11. Although it can be super helpful, a lot of people may not like it, and you cannot uninstall it, but there are different ways to disable the feature completely on the operating system. I have already created a video with multiple ways that you can do this, but I'm just going to show you the method using the group policy editor to disable the experience. But I will be leaving the link for the other video that I created that shows all the methods to disable Copilot on Windows 11. So if Copilot is not for you and you want to disable it, open start and look for group policy. Of course, the uh, group policy editor is only available on Windows Pro, Enterprise and Education. If you have the home edition of Windows, you have to use the registry to do the same thing. And like I said before, I have another video that covers this and other methods. So on the application, we're just going to go to user configuration and then we're gonna drill down to the Windows Copilot section. And in here, we're going to find this turn off Windows Copilot setting. And then we're just going to open that with a double click and select the enable option to disable the actual feature. Then click applied 
and click OK and then just restart the computer and the next time that you start the device Copilot will not start on the computer. If you ever want to turn it back on you need to follow the same steps but use the no configure option. And that's it those are the uh, 10 tips and tricks that you can use on Copilot to get the most out of the experience. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.